the third one is when is the right time to be in a relationship or to be in the courting stage? And what is the courting stage, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is said that marriage is not for boys. Mm. Marriage is for men. Hmm? And, yeah. and, and the word men does not necessarily mean age. It means, in that sense, mm. it means maturity. Yes. Um, actually, you will know when you're ready. If you have to ask me, it means you're not ready. Mm. You will know within you when you're ready. It's like someone asking me, um, do you think I should eat now? <laughs> you're not yeah. ready to eat. Mm. Because if you're ready to eat, you don't need to ask anyone. You will just know when it's time to go for food. Yeah. So when it's time for courting or marriage, um, there's a knowing that that comes within you. You just know that you're ready for this now. Mm -hmm. And you want to go into this. Yeah. Uh, you can't teach somebody when they are ready. However, you can tell them when they are not ready. You will, you will know. You will see. You will see that they're not ready. But when they are ready, you don't need to tell them. That they are ready okay. they will know they are ready mm, okay but who is the one who will gonna pursue and who is the one who will gonna wait you mean between the girl or between the, lady? the girl and uh, between a lady and a man unfortunately we live in a culture today where um, <laughs> everything happens hmm. uh, but if we look in scriptures the Bible says that the man that finds a wife hmm. The man, the that, man that finds a wife okay. or a woman finds a good thing. Mm. And God said, I will bless it. So, um, of course, we've seen situations where uh, physically today, mm. the women are the ones initiating uh, this relationship. Mm. And actually, I don't blame the women. Because mm. a lot of the men are so, if I use the word, chicken hearted. Chicken. A lot of the men are not bold. And the reason why you are not bold, guys, listen, listen, listen to me. The reason why you are not bold is because you're not preparing. Mm. You didn't prepare yourself. If you had prepared yourself, you will not be ashamed or afraid to talk to a woman. Mm. No matter her education. If you, for example, I'm using this loosely now. Mm. If you have, you have a great education, by the way, education also prepares you, prepares your mind. Because mm. you are in a school where you've met a lot of other people. Well, if you go to a four-wall school, some people go to a... Uh, the study online and you mm. don't meet people yeah that's the world we are living in today mm. but it's so important that you are in an environment where you meet all the sexes mm. <laughs> well we have only two <laughs> men are female so but it's important you have this interaction this interaction period builds you mm. it's the time where you learn to say no to what your flesh may be saying yeah and and so as a man if you've met so many ladies along your uh, your study time there's this uh there's this build you you're kind of built inside you are you have fortitude mm -hmm. you can stand and talk to another lady but if you if you studied at home and you've never met a lady you've never spoken to a beautiful mm -hmm. lady before and the first time you meet them you're going to fumble yeah because you are not prepared you're how shy. you'll be shy mm -hmm. however it is recommended that at least for you ladies let a guy talk to you himself mm -hmm. It's okay to be friendly, yes, plainly friendly, but let the guy do the work. Even if you love a guy, and I've mm. seen this so many instances where a lady really loves a guy and she has this strong feeling, this is my husband, this can be my husband, or oh, if you can just ask me out. Mm. You know, and then what you can do, because we're talking as, as, as Christians now, is to be praying mm. and say, Lord, if this is my husband, let him come. Yeah. Draw him to me. You know, and just and just serve God. Is it possible that God knows the right person for you? Hmm. And the Bible says God will order your steps. So, but, but but when you as a lady throw yourself out there, now I talk to you as a man. Now, if a lady throws herself at us, it makes us feel that that lady is cheap. One, and that is not the first time she has done it. Wow. Yes. Ah, so men think of that also. Yes. Ah, huh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yes. So when a lady throws herself. You know, okay, this lady is cheap and this is not the first time. Yes. Yeah. So you said earlier, uh, when the right one comes, how will I know that this man or this girl is the right one for me? It can be tricky. It can be tricky many times. Because mm. um, sometimes the right person doesn't look goldish. 
sometimes the right person doesn't look like you don't feel like wow at the right person sometime example is my wife and i when we got married i didn't really like yeah i found my wife mm. uh I, I and she didn't feel the same way for me because we both want we wanted something else mm. we thought or let me put this so we thought we wanted something else mm-hmm. yeah the, what, the picture we had in our minds were a little bit different i i wanted to marry a kind of different person from a different part of the world mm. she wanted someone else with a kind of different social status she didn't want to marry a pastor <laughs> I wanted to marry someone from another part of the uh, uh, part of the world. That was my fantasy, mm. you know. But but there was something within us in because we allowed God say, "Lord, lead us," mm. and God does lead. And He mm. showed me that uh, when I say He showed me, I, I hope you don't start asking those questions now. But you can if you want. But but the Lord made it clear that this was my my wife to be mm. because of my relationship with the Lord. It made it easy for me to hear God clearly. Mm. So, but how do you know, if you don't have a relationship with God, how do you know this lady is the one for me? Without God, it's going to be difficult. Mm. You, you, you end up trying. Yeah. You will end up trying by feelings, by emotion. And I, I'm, I'm sure we're going to get into this, this later. And, mm. But let me just throw it out here. Love does not keep a relationship. Why? Let me ask why. Because I hear you asking why. Okay, why? <laughs> <laughs> love is should never be the foundation for a relationship. Mm. When I say love, I'm talking about the love that you are thinking about. Mm. Oh, he loves me. Oh, when I see him, my heart mm. just beats. Should never be the basis for a relationship. Yeah. Why? Mm. Because after counseling so many people in, in, in my work, in pastoral work, I've, I've seen people who will come to me and say, Pastor, I really love this woman, but I can't stand her. Yeah. That's why many divorce now. But we will gonna talk to that later also. Yes, that's okay. why I said this is gonna come in later. Yeah. <laughs> but but for a guy, please don't just go out because he's because she smiles at you mm. or because she's so good. Mm. That's why it's important to be sure to have this have a relationship with God, friends. Yes. It's the best. Mm. Because if your relationship with the Lord is so good, um he will guide you. He will lead you. You will have that. Amen. Just like I said, there will be that that knowing within you that this is the girl mm. or this is the man. Mm. You know? Yeah, but what if the man cannot commit? For example, how... how Because sometimes it's hard for them to commit to a girl or to a lady or vice versa. Uh, it also still means that whoever they are, the guy or the girl, does not have a relationship with God. Mm. Because if you have a relationship with God, that's not going to be a big problem. Because if you if you're already committed to God, then it's easy for you to commit to a lady mm-hmm. or to a man. Mm-hmm. So everything still goes back to that foundation. However, we know that it's not everyone who is in church that is really committed to the Lord, awesome. and that's why yeah, and that's why we're having so many problems today. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the bulk I will say lies a lot with the ladies before you allow a guy to say move into my house mm. be sure he loves god more than you yeah that's that's the basis if he says can i come to your house he say why don't we go to church instead <laughs> why that well, let's go to church instead let's go to church. let him let him build his relationship with god if i can give an advice mm. if you want a guy to love you really well push him to love god mm. if you draw him away from god you will suffer tomorrow. Hmm. Especially if you That's meet a guy. You said? Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's really nice because I, I really want to ask that also earlier, but he already answered it. So. Yeah, because if, for example, you meet a guy who is active in church, maybe he's, he's playing instrument in church or he's leading worship or he's an usher mm. or he's working with children and you are not so active in church yet and he tells you or you, want, you guys want to meet at mm-hmm. some certain time, and he says, oh, uh, I need, I'm supposed to be in church at this time. If you make him leave the church activity and start coming to you mm-hmm. because you think that's what shows he loves you, you are creating a monster. Oy. Yes. Because you are sowing in him the possibility to ignore his service for God for mm-hmm. you. Tomorrow, when you're already together, he's already used to spending more time with you than with God. Mm. Then you're going to start having trouble because God is a jealous God. 
if God has been using him before and now you pull him away from God, mm. if he completely goes away from God, God is going to deal with you for that. Hmm. I'm speechless now. <laughs> yeah. Because another reason is that that guy will first there will be guilt in his life later on mm. that you made him lose that relationship. Yeah. And he's going to get it he's going to get back to you for that and you won't like that. Mm. So it's it's a challenge. I, I I will not recommend it. You will not recommend. I will not recommend a girl taking a guy out of church just because you want him to love you. <laughs>